why this whole thing came about. Because First, I'll have to categorically deny that I was appointed or will be appointed the ambassador uh, for aliens, um, the ambassador for United Nations uh, for aliens. Um, no, the committee is not discussing this very uh, this subject matter. But yes, I was in the UK to attend a meeting, which I can quote to you, uh, called Towards a Scientific and Societal Agenda on Extraterrestrial Life. I was in that panel discussing what were the issues that the United Nations is, um, is a ready-made platform for any kind of uh, discussions that affect humanity as a whole. Um, and if it comes to extraterrestrial life, I've, so we've not talked about extraterrestrial intelligence only, but life as well. Uh, the United Nations is one, is logically one of the many mechanisms and avenues for such discussions. What would I like to see done is that um, such an important issue is we, if we discover life um, in outer space, that uh, there be um, an a meeting of minds, I don't know which minds it will be, whether they're scientific or political, that involves um, the entire spectrum of humanity, not just one or two states that found life or discovered life, but because it has a profound impact on humanity, that it be in some way uh, discussed at a more, um, across, a, in, a, um, in I would say, in a forum that's uh, more representative of everyone. If you then look at the statistics and see if even one in a trillion of the one in a trillion stars um, might uh, host life. And when I mean life, it's not people like you and I, but uh, it could just be bacteria. When, when we're talking about life in this meeting, we're not talking about green aliens. Okay, sometimes this is the, the, uh, uh, the connotation of when we say extraterrestrial life, it, all, it always must be green aliens with large, lovely eyes. But no, we're talking about bacteria because they're the most likely um, form of life.